Hello everyone, my name is Neha. I am going to explain Sonar Cube project properties. Sonar Cube is an open source platform by which we can continuously analyze the project code quality. You can locate the Sonar project property inside the root folder of your project. This contains some various parameters which I am going to explain. Project key is the unique key given to a project. Project name is the name that would be shown inside the Sonar Cube UI which you can see here. Project version as the name suggests can be considered as the release version of the project. Sources. Sources parameter list all the directories the Sonar Cube is going to scan for the source code. Let's assume some different scenarios. First assume you want to take all the directories which is present inside your project and so in the Sonar Cube. For that just include a single dot in the Sonar sources and after doing this just save it. Run the Sonar scanner, reload the Sonar UI, check inside the directory you will find the same directories are present here but there are some scenarios where we want to just take some of the directories from the project that can be done with three different types the very first one is to change inside the sources instead of dot just include all the directories which you want to include with the comma separated as we have done to include js and admin save it run the sonar scanner reload the page and check inside the directory you can view only as js and admin is present here to do this with the second way is to use sonar sources uh, with the single dot and use a new parameter name as inclusion where we have used js and admin you can see the way we have mentioned js and admin is little different because in js we have used two asterisk and in admin we have used a single asterisk the reason behind is if you have files inside a directory then you can use a single directive if you have directive inside the directive then you need to use the double asterisk let's check inside the project as admin is having all the files and if we will check inside js it is having one more directory inside it and after doing this just run the sonar scanner while running sonar scanner you can also check included source will show the directory which you have mentioned there and reload the sonar cube ui as you have done here and then inside the directory you will see only those directories is mentioned here the third and way is to do it to use property name as exclusion as the name suggests it will exclude all the directory which will be present here as we have included the client so it will exclude it from the sonar queue and we have given here as a single asterisk because it is having only file inside it so if you will run the sonar scanner now you can see excluded source it is showing the client and if you will reload the ui you will find the same directory there language by default sonar include all the languages for which the plugin is present inside the sonar cube but if you just want to include a single language then you can use the sonar language and mention the programming language here and it will run the sonar cube 
for that particular language. That's all which I want to explain about these Sonar project properties. I hope this video is helpful for you. You can check out my some other video. If you haven't installed the Sonar Cube yet, you can check my blog to install the Sonar Cube, which I have mentioned in the description. Thank you for watching it. Have a nice day.